Hi guys, welcome back. Scaling here and we are all for more Final Fantasy VI in the last episode. L we, Lock Cole, joined the party, along with ten Moogles temporarily, in order to save Terra and escape from Narsh. But we want to go back into Narsh because I couldn't show off something because we were go we were hitting up the time limit. And, yeah, I can go do so now. This house is pretty much just a tutorial area. I mean, of course, we had little tutorials here and there, but this just gives you about the basics of everything. But funnily enough, it comes. Bef it, this comes bef af well after you've beaten a few enemies. Like you have a room to like practice fighting against everything. You have a room practicing like different stuff is in the menu. It's just all tutorials. But we've already done all that stuff before you get here. So this place is only useful for grabbing some freebie items and for free healing. As this dude will explain, this is water from a recovery swing. It will restore your HP and MP, and MP. So, don't bother wasting a sleeping bag or anything when you get out to the map screen. Just come in here quickly. I want to go in here because there should be a treasure chest and there's also a convenient save point here. Because, obviously, it's a uh, tutorial area. It's just going to give you tutorials. Monster in the box, of course, but it's a, as this is a tutorial area, it's one of the easiest enemies to kill. I believe it's a Lobo. It's a Lobo! <laughs> What a guess. I'm such a nerd. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna steal just to be lucky, and if not, <laughs> just to be lucky, get it. And kill it. Okay, it's actually getting a couple of attacks off me. Tusk. I don't understand what it means by tusk because it's not like a saber toothed tiger or anything, or a mammoth with tusks, so I don't actually understand what it is. And if you can hear like a very low humming in the background, that's because there's some road work. Well, there's some there's some building going on outside. I think it's just like some very small, like cutting up pieces of wood or something. But I'm um, I'm sorry if that gets kind of annoying. You're just gonna have to put up with it. <laughs> it's not my fault. I can't just say shut up. I'm trying to record here. Battle tactics, of course. There's nothing in that pot. Anything on the bookshelf? No. Okay. Received a sleeping bag, which is awesome sauce. They, they, all these people look so alike. <laughs> There's so many clones! It's all just tutorials. Oh, look at this. You can actually be in a box here. I don't even understand why. And a tonic, and anything in... The, excuse me. Nope, nothing in there. Okay, I think we've cleared all of this out. This is the only reason why I wanted to come in here for. So, we can stock up and heal. And now that we have, let's get on out of here. Now, I just want to change my party quickly. Well, when I say change my party, I mean just change something. I put everybody in the back row at the end of the video, but I want to put Locke up forward, because he's going to be attacking a lot more physical, and if Terra uses magic, it won't be hampered because she's further back. So, because mag magic damage doesn't matter on f how close you are to the enemy. Physical attacks obviously do, and it also affects your uh, physical defense. Now that we're on the world map, it's pretty much a nice world, a mode 7 map here. We just gotta make our way to Figaro down south. So we just gotta find like a building or something that we can go into. Obviously different planes are gonna give you different enemies and battles and such. The light green is pretty much like the major path. Green is just fields, but it's pretty much exactly the same. Forests, however, hold slightly different enemies. And of course, this bloody thing happens. Deserts obviously give you different enemies once again, it's just pretty much like a normal world map, and you have random encounters on them. Kill the leafers, that went to fire, that's why I'm using it. Boom boom. Done. You just got owned FTW, and I got myself a tonic, awesome source. Tonics recover about 50 HP, I believe. So handy I guess. Obviously they're called potions in the later versions and uh, normal potions in this game are, 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 would, would be called high potions and so on. Tinctures of course would be normal ethers and ethers would be high ethers. I don't know why the naming was kind of weird in this game. I'm glad I finished that sentence right when I got into a battle. Erinade, I think that's how you pronounce it. Most of these names I do not know how to pronounce. Just whack them. Fire's not good. Oh, when the screen flashes when you attack, that's a critical. As Terror attacked, you saw that the screen flashed. That was a critical hit. I don't think enemies can get critical hits that often, though, so... That could be a good thing. Come on! Die already! Mashing buttons! 
Got to wait for the bloody ATB bars to load up. Lock and Terra pretty much have the same speed. Whack em. This is taking longer than usual, but I wouldn't... Even though Fire may do a bit more damage, they're resistant to it, so it might be more hassle than it's worth. Plus you would have to wait for the animation, so I think it's just faster to mash the attack. Command. Thank you for dying. 55 experience, that's not bad. In that pose that Terra was in just now, in the script, where right before I cut out, it, makes, it just looks like that she's just wearing a bra. And that pretty much is what she's wearing in the chibi artwork, but obviously, that's not the case. Play Dissidia, you know what I mean. Here's a building! Figaro Castle! It's Figaro! This is what we wanted! Wait! Oh, hey, it's you! Proceed! Right then. Chocobos! Awesome sauce. I love chocobos. Especially the little baby chocobo chick in Saz's Afro. So yeah, we can we can pretty much explore this castle, but I would do I would rather do that later when we're actually supposed to, because we're not gonna be able to get that much further until we actually activate the cutscene. As you can see they're blocking the ways. Hey, what do you have to say? Doesn't look like it, but this castle incorporates some of the most high-tech devices in existence. For example... Oops! They're all top secret! Indeed. Now, these two doors on the side he sides here are shops, but if you have certain party members, you can actually get stuff for cheap. You get like a slight discount. But if we go up here... Actually, no. I want to actually go around quickly, actually, for a second. Because if we go to, into the back area here... Get ourselves a Phoenix Down! Hell yes! It'll be called a Phoenix Down in the Super Nintendo version, which is very odd. And you can actually stand up here, which has no purpose in the entire game. It's just something really awesome. Because you can be on top of this high-tech castle, even though it looks really old-fashioned inside. This theme's awesome. But hey! It's the king of the castle. Apparently Locke knows him. You mean, this young woman? Who do you think you are? Oh, sorry. How rude of me to turn my back to a lady. The young king of Figaro Castle, ally to the Empire, and a master designer of machinery. Our third party member, Edgar the, well, horny, technical king, I guess. He always hits on the ladies. That's pretty much why I came up with that on the spot. And it kind of didn't flow very well, but you know what I mean. Obviously, his technology will come into play soon. Nice fade. <laughs> I am Edgar, King of Figaro. Surprised someone like me knows a king? Nod, 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 and I'll talk to you later. And he runs off. <laughs> so, you're an Imperial soldier? No problem, Figaro and the Empire are allies. Please, relax while you're here. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Look, why are you helping me? Is it because of my abilities? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if you're type if I'm your type. I guess your abilities would be a distant third. What's with you anyway? I guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. <laughs> Uh, trying to hit on Terra and she's completely oblivious. Hmm, I suppose a normal girl would have found him dashing, but I'm hardly normal. Poor Terra, so conflictive. But yep, we're on our own now, and we're allowed to explore the castle as we want, so... Awesome source. Feel free to wander about, indeed. I don't think there's anything behind here, but you can pop out from behind the things, like this. It's pretty funny. So let's head down here. Just got to pretty much explore the entire castle here. Let's check out the shops. 
I like how they're like one square big, but then they're like become at least nine squares big. And there's two free items here, so you don't even need to buy anything. So we've got an antidote right there that cures poison. Now, we can't use these yet, but I wanna you want to buy them regardless. The auto crossbow apparently we already have one of already. So don't buy another one of those. And you only need one of each, and they're very cheap. So we wanna buy the noise blaster and the bio blaster. If you have already realized it says use with the tools command. Um, if you noticed from what I, uh, I have on the captions, every time we get a character I list what abilities they have, and Edgar's the one with the tools ability. So he's the only one who can use these attacks, and they're pretty much his main um, special attacks, pretty much. That don't cost any magic, because once again, Edgar, do well, we got another party member that doesn't have any magic. Another chest here, another, oh, a soft, that uh, recovers stone, uh, which it, I think... I'm not too sure. No, soft. It. I think it. Um, allow. It allows you to cast spells again. It kills silence, actually. Yeah. Oh no. It kills petrify stats. Okay. I was correct the first time. Whatever. Uh, we don't really need anything here. I mean, we've got one tincture. And we only have one magic user, so that's fine for now. Plus, they're really expensive. Tonics. We've already got seven of, and they're easy to collect if you just steal from basic enemies. Antidotes are very cheap, but we're not exactly going against many poisonous enemies, except for the scorpions at the moment. Soft, we haven't been petrified at all, and you won't be for a very long time, so it's kind of a useless item. Echo Screen, that's the thing that cures uh, silence or mute, whatever you want to call it. Then we've got the usual items down here. Tent is pretty much like a sleeping bag, but it's for all party members. And once again, it can only be used on save points or on the map. Oh, that was a mouthful. But yeah. Just want to explore and grab all the chests around here. Obviously we could grab them later, but what's the point? They're beginner items. Need a rest? Yes, this place has a free inn. So you can fully recover your health and magic. Awesome source. So whenever you need healing, and you're in the area, you want to use this place. Let's get downstairs. Now, funnily enough, if you try to leave the castle, you will go back to the world map. So the only way to explore the castle's exterior is to actually go down through here. But if you go any further below this chocobar, I believe, maybe two spaces too far, um, you will pretty much leave the area. And if you come back in, you'll be back at the front doors. It's really weird on how that happens, but yeah. Yeah, Figaro, there's a castle. Don't really care about that, to be honest. Let's go up here. Who's this kid? His Highness said he'd marry me when I get older. Yep, he even hits on little girls. And the jokes will build up from there, I will assure you. Now, we want to go talk to this dude, because even though it will progress the plot, we will have to go somewhere else in order to actually progress the plot a little bit more. But, Edgar has a twin brother. He was such a nice boy. Getting introduced to another character already! And he's my favourite character in the game. Well, one of my favourite characters, anyway. Brother, what's wrong with father? What's all this talk of his successor? Are you blind? Look how thin his face has become. Well, what is it? Brother! Tears? Edgar's twin brother, who traded the throne for his own freedom. My fa one of my favourite characters in the game, Sabin Figaro. He's awesome. He is literally the most best character in the entire game. No doubt. There is no question. Once we get to a certain point, you would pretty much have him with you all the friggin' time. I won't get into his... I, I will put the ability on screen just then, so you can pause and read it, because, you know, the loading between those two scenes aren't isn't exactly the longest but you can't actually use that ability once you get him well you can but I'll get into why later yes his name is Sabin oh he looks so much like his father they're twins when he ran away he 
He was a sweet little child. I wonder what he's like now. Who knows? Anyway, that that's um, Edgar's bed, by the way. So yeah, Empire has smashed the three cities on the southern com com uh, continent. I was about to say continent then. Just a matter of time until they come up here. Indeed. So if I go back to the main area around here, go down, go through here, go this way. And yeah, if you do want to train up Terra on her own, you can go out into the world map. Schoolers, the world over are stu doing research on magic. City people, schoolers. Hmm. They say that, and yet we're the only being with magical powers in this place. Or are we? The magic tech armor can use magic. And that has an infinite supply, pretty much. Not only that, but their weapons of mass destruction. Just like Terra was with the slave ground. Here, this place is empty. <laughs> I like how you can just walk into the beds. Weapons and items manufactured here are sent to South Figaro. If I can just head back to the main room again, I should really just cut out all my backtracking, really. But I'm just showing off the area because we haven't been around here before, and I know it's taken a while, but it has to be done, I guess. I think there's something in this pot. No, there isn't. I'm Lone Wolf, the pig pocket! Indeed. If you just come closer to me, dude, I can talk to you. Relax, there's pulling off steam, but I'm telling you, there's no sense keeping us here. We're just small potatoes compared to the real threat lurking out there, and King Edgar knows it. So these people are trying to bribe us to open the door, pretty much. I demand to see Edgar. How dare they keep us in this stinking pit? Hey, let us out of here! <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah. And, well, that's pretty much it. There's not really much down the left side here. Because we can't even go down here or do anything. Because if we try to go down, he pushes us out of the way. That's dangerous! And if we talk to him, beyond is the Figaro Castle engine room. We're ready to leave at a moment's notice. Apparently the castle has an engine. Maybe we'll find out what that is later. Who knows? I knows. If you played the game, you knows. But for those who don't, nobody knows. Why am I saying no so many times? I don't know. I have an itchy nose. Let me scratch it. Oh, who are you? The Chancellor. The whole business with the succession was so repugnant to Sabin the King's brother that he fled the castle forever. The succession was settled with a coin toss. Interesting. Is he back on this throne? Yes, he is. Let's talk to him. Well, how do you like my castle? King Edgar, someone from the Empire to see you. Probably Kefka. I like Kefka's theme, but I hate him. Because his character's so damn crazy. Fooey. Emperor Gastal's stupid orders. Edgar, you pinhead! Why do you live in the middle of nowhere? These recon jobs are the pits. <clears throat> There's sand on my boots. Whoa! I love that. Yes, sir. All set, sir. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> That's just funny. Uh, he may be a funny, weird, kooky character right now, but we all know that he's a sick mind. I mean, he ordered Terra to kill 50 of his own troops. The crazy bastard. He has a sick mind. Sir Kefka, what on earth do out of my way? <laughs> he just pushes him aside. Do 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 do. Ba ba ba. Do 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 do. And we have control of Edgar now. Like I said, when we have chances on fighting, I want to put him to the back, of course. Because if we go to his skills, whatever tools that we have, he can use them. But we don't have a list of tools here because these are like different abilities. Because his tools are used in a separate thing. And yeah, you know what? Just arrange. There we go. But yeah, you would normally start with just the auto crossbow, but I brought the other two, even though I don't use them that often. Can't talk to Locke. So let's just talk to Kefka. I thought we were allies. What are you doing in my domain? You've been busy down south, looking for more cities to destroy? 
That's for us to know. And now we should be able to talk to Kefka. I keep forgetting to do that. What brings Kefka, humble servant of Emperor Gestal, to our lowly presence? A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she took refuge here. Hmm, this wouldn't have anything to do with this witch everything's been whispering about, would it? Lies! She... merely stole something of minor value. Is she here? That's a tough one. You see, there are more girls here than grains of sand out there. I can't keep track of them all. I hate to be you if you, we found out you're lying. Why? <laughs> I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. Let's go talk to Locke. I'd say that guy is missing a few buttons. Where's Terra? Take her to her room. I'd love to chat with you, but the Chancellor and I must plan our strategy. Sometimes I hate being a king, if you excuse me. Follow me. And we actually want to run ahead of him, because if we uh, run ahead of him and go through here before him, somehow, he appears in front of us. How the hell do you do that, you thief? That's Treasure Hunter. Okay, sorry. But yeah, just follow him through. There's only one way that we can go, and that's over here. Unless you want to leave to the world map for any reason. Don't you worry about a thing. Oh, you're Locke, right? Eggman told me about you. Is it true you're a thief? That's treasure hunter! Ugh. On the surface, Edgar pretends to support the Empire. The truth is, he's collaborating with the Returners, an organization opposed to the Empire. I am his contact with that group. The old man you met in Nosh is one of us. Empire? But I am a soldier of the Empire! That's not true, they were using you. Things are different now. I don't understand. What should I do? I can't tell you what to do. You don't have to decide right now, you'll, fo you'll soon find your way. So without knowing it, this is our room. But how will I know which way is right? That music does not sound good. What the... The castle's been set alight! Look at that dude! What's happening? It's the Empire! It's Kafka! And then he just joins. What are you doing? Bring me the girl, now! I don't know what you're talking about. Then, welcome to my barbecue! <laughs> Let's walk up. Get ready. Yes, sir! Uh oh. Change your mind? I guess I have no choice. Or maybe I do. Chuckabows! They're awesome. Ah, shameful that a king should flee, leaving his people behind. How utterly delightful! Jump! Whoa! And we just jump on a bunch of chocobos. That's awesome. The chocobos must be well trained. Okay, dive now! Yahoo! Squad the la, we are off! And <laughs> Kepka's surprised. Oh, this is awesome. You remember that injury room that we heard? This is what's happening. Figaro submerge mode engaged! No one can defeat the people of Figaro! <laughs> I love the music of this game, it's just so epic! The wonders you can do with a Super Nintendo sound engine and the multiple chips that come with. <laughs> He's upside down. Oof! 
go get them. And he just waves. It's like, bye, have a nice trip. Oh no, Magitek Armor can outrun Chocobos. Whatever are we going to do? Wait, Magitek Armor uses magic. We have magic. Let's use it. And why does that go up front? Oh, it's a back attack, of course. Derp. Do 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 do. Okay, I might. I must say that if you press left, you go into a defensive stance. If you press right, you change row for that one character. For I would just point that out quickly because that's one thing I forgot to point out. Um, auto crossbow hits all enemies. Bio blaster deals poison damage to all enemies. I'm going to use that. And magic. Well, of course, I'm just going to hit them with fire for both of them. And now they're poisoned, so now they're going to take some damage over time. And if we use fire, in or any magic in this battle, a cutscene happens. Edgar, what's the matter? You look positively spooked. Did, 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 did you just see what I saw? Yeah, this game seems loaded for bear. She's amazing! That was magic! Magic! You have to actually mash the button for that one. Magic? She used magic? Terra, where on earth did you learn that? Sorry, I... Um... <laughs> Look, I didn't mean to make such a big deal with this. Me either. It's just that I've never actually seen magic before. Apart from these bastards over there. Where did you... Edgar, Terra can use magic, and we can't. That's the only difference between us. The fact is, we could use her help. Thank you, Locke. Thank you, Edgar. Wink. <laughs> Stop swooning! And then back to the battle. I don't know why that happens, that's just hilarious. But on, it, the cutscene looks a little bit creepy and also a little bit funny on an emulator because their heads actually get chopped off because the bodies underneath the menu don't move. So it's pretty weird. And there we go, done. Two potions! That is overkill at this stage in the game. <coughs> and I'm sorry that this video has actually been going on for quite long like last one. Bravo, Figaro! Son of a submarina! They'll pay you for this! This is great! Oh, was, was that a bad person? I'm scared. Terra, there is someone I'd like you to meet. We're members of the Returners. Our mentor, Bannon, would certainly like to meet you. Magic is going to be the key to winning this war. Magic? Terra has magical powers that Esper seem to react to her. Can there be some connection? I haven't the foggiest. It just seems natural to me that I have this power. But no human has is ever born with the powers you seem to have, and... I apologize. What should I do? I'm sure the Empire is going to come after you. If they get your hands on you again, the world's finished. Terra, you want us to understand your own powers, right? Then I think we need to consult with Bannon. Please? Okay, to the south there is a cave that leads to South Figaro. So now that we know where to go, we are now on Chocobos. Of course, you just want to move with the control pad, you can use other buttons as well, but if you press the circle button you will dismount. You don't get any random encounters when you're on a Chocobo, so it's definitely a good mode of transportation, but once you get off the Chocobo, it's gone for good. And that'll be it so, for this episode, so in the next episode guys, we will go through this cave and see if we can escape the Empire once again. See you guys then.